Right, today we have 9th of April 2020. We are visiting a friend's bees who is in lockdown because of the COVID-19 excitement. Uh, we have four colonies. They have overwintered successfully, it would appear, from the outside view. And we just need to put them back in their normal configuration. Queen Excluder is not in here, so we need to put the Queen Excluder back in. And we'll work our way through all of the bees. We're going to do record cards as we go as well. So, colony number one. Right, so they haven't seen these bees for a few years. Uh, so in the top, so there's Nick on top, obviously the feed has all been taken down, which is nice. I'll put that to one side and we'll whip that eek off. Right. Okay, let's start with the let's start with that. They can hopefully fly up with that one. Right, a little bit of smoke just in the top, just to warn them. The fact they were coming in, it'd be good if they went down. Pop a blast in the front as well. Restricted entrance still. So they haven't been to this apron for a couple of years, so I don't know it's true set up. Right, crambled off. Alright, so we have a super over the top of the brood box, no queen excluder. So that's what we're going to put in today, nothing on the back of the crown board. Alright, let's see what they're, they're doing up top. Okay, so they've got spaces, wow. Okay, so super. The super second end frame uh, it's pretty good it's in a different orientation from the rest of the hive we'll check whether that's the standard or I'll work out whether it's standard as we go uh, so it's the second last frame let's see how the last frame is looking as well Pop it stuck down uh, it's got some weight to it not loads uh, nothing on the back side stuff on the front side looks to be the common theme throughout. Let's randomly pick a middle one. Let's be careful because the queenie might be up top. But no, again, stores. This is pretty, pretty chock-a-blocker. Let's not worry too much about this. There's a good chance the queenie is going to be down below. Uh, so we need to find ourselves a queen excluder. Right, so four frame clean excluders as we go. We'll pop that in once we find her. So let's pop you off for the moment. Let's go down a layer. Pretty confident that the queen is probably not in the roof. And that weighs 20 odd pound. It's pretty heavy. Might even need to spin that off. Wow. So, B numbers, looking good. I mean, we've got, what, certainly one, two, three, four, five, six, 
good seven frames of bees in it. Propolis crazy in here. And bee space might be slightly off maybe, but we don't know. Right, I'm not using my frame rest for this because it's not my apiary, so I don't want any cross contamination. And oh my god, they are proper wedged. Wow, someone definitely likes the proper list. Okay, I'm putting a fair amount of force on these. Wanting to damage them, not going to take the M1 out. This is probably stuck to the end. Right. Okay. Here we go. So it's a standard national brood box. Uh, we have stores there. Looks okay. There's some crystallised stores, probably back from last year, back from the IV. Uh, that side, it's just got crystallised stores just in the middle. These appear good temperament so far until I anger them. Right, let's just give them a little, just a gentle smoke through. Right, so let's check frame two, just in the woodlouse. Woodlouse is not a good idea. Right, frame number two. Uh, we're seeing some new stores in there. Probably some ivy stores from last year as well. You can see that just there. Slightly crystallised. Um, backside is just, just wet stores, so that's okay. Just pop those out as well. Okay, next one. Okay, so inside first, so we've got stores, uh, we've got pollen in there as well, so it's good, so it's the little bee protein, and we are seeing there's some drone brood dotted around on the outer edge. Bees look in good condition, wings look, wings all look nice, there's no weird deforming, oh, the drone, yeah, that must be one of the first drones I've seen this year, you can see them just there, bigger than the rest, doesn't have a stinger. And it's a guy as well. Right, and on the other side we've got fresh doors coming in as well. I think this one is it's possibly due, due a super. Because they are filling up the holes and if we have a bit of a, a flow on, the rapeseed in my area is coming out. This is only six or eight miles from my area. So, right. So, inside, mm, this is a Play cup there, it's not charged, play cup there, not charged, one random drone, pollen, uh, with nectar around it, it's fine. Apparently all the queenies are marked, we should be able to find her, but that all looks okay. So we're moving on to frame number six, so we are in the middle now, in the middle of the Propolis disaster. And here we go. Well, I haven't seen any eggs yet, but I am seeing, seeing drone. The eggs? Yeah, there are a few eggs, but they're very random, not solid patterns, which I would expect to see, given the fact we're on frame six, double eggs in that one, double eggs in that one as well. I'm curious to whether something's happened to Queenie with this. I'm seeing double eggs in those. Uh, 
not much much brood I would expect now frame seven so we're now past the middle again lots of pollen plenty of empty cells not much in them apart from just tons of, tons and tons of nectar interesting drone cells warm I'm going with the fact we might be queenless. Albeit they've got a stack of a stack of everything and we we did have a drone in there, it could have been from a neighbouring colony maybe. But equally we are seeing drone cells aren't we? So not why. Again. Yeah, we're just seeing loads of bees, loads of workers, but no egg no well few eggs randomly spread so probably laying worker again a bucket load of pollen on that side quite happy I think we might be, might be missing our queenie Oops. again Backside, but it's all I think that's ivy stores from last year. Again, ivy stores that side. Very calm for being queenless. You see. Right, uh, again, ivy stores. Over stores are over these doors, but a chalk brood in there as well. Just down this bottom corner here, this bottom edge. Again, other side stores, stacks of it. Again, I think there are ivy stores because I don't think the, the rapeseed would have taken effect high now. I, mean, I can't see any from here, but they fly two and a half miles, they can be anywhere. Okay, in this frame. Bit of chalk brood on the bottom, tons of stores. They're like they're store heavy, loads of stores, but, but no queenie. We'll put the we'll put the queen excluder in just by by the part of the process. There's nothing out here. I mean, I say that might be chalk brood, no it's probably just pollen that's gone off. Yeah, I think it's just pollen that's gone off. And I'll take that out over time and get rid of it. So, looks like colony number one is queenless. Come on girlies. Queenless but very calm for queenless. Why is the bee trying to hide under the frames? I don't want to play find a bee today. Right. The chance that she's been chucked out, which is no good. And the prime frame. Right. Look for shame on that one. I was hoping that we would find Queenie. Come on, girlies. Give me the grill. Do you want me to make you? Oh, is there a wedge? Try and line these up as best as possible weird spacing. Right, okay, colony one, queenless, happy, happy about it, but they are still queenless. Let's just tidy this up a bit. Uh, I'm half tempted to put a super on top, because they appear, appear to be bringing in 
whatever is out there at the moment. Excluder, uh, B space. This is bottom B space. But equally, these are edged. I'm not go that way actually, just not to squash anything. Although we do have now a, a top B space and a bottom B space, but that should be enough for them to, to be okay. Let's grab. Just grab a super. Let's just chuck a super in here. As much as I love these lovely, lovely binds, right? But lots. Takes it off. I did not bring scissors with me. Got scissors in there? Nah, probably not. Knife tool's not sharp enough. Let's try and split it. They seem to have plenty of space. They're bringing in plenty, but the problem is no queen. So what we might do is we go through. We might if we find a queen. We'll if we find these cells. We could put it in, give them some eggs, and hopefully they'll they'll grow a queen. Ground ball back on top. Perfect, everything's in the same orientation. Lovely. Okay, I'm just going to put the lid on. And then I will write this one up on the notes. 